on the matter that the country is waiting to hear, the illicit six. Um, that would come to the House and go order straight or, to no, the... No, on a point of order, I do not know of what you are speaking, member. It's a... Mm -hmm. I don't know, no. Please, please, please remove that comment. Please remove that comment. That comment is inappropriate, doesn't belong in the House, and is not included in any document submitted in this Honourable House. Please remove I, I, your comment. I've, I've heard what you have said, Madam Speaker. And hands on, please that. strike the comment. So, no, I, I Madam... don't think I will be able, if I have so many questions at the same time, remember them all to respond. I'm hoping so you I'm going to ask you to hold. As Speaker of this Honorable House, I note the public commentary in some quarters regarding the role of the Speaker in tabling certain documents and the role of Parliament in addressing these matters. There is an untrue narrative of deliberate delay in tabling reports sent to this House. The fact is, there are no reports, not one report, either from the Integrity Commission or the Auditor General's Department, which have not been tabled. Additionally, all reports were tabled as prescribed at the soonest possible time. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, here we go again. Please like and share up the video for me there. Please like and share up the video and make Jamaica and the world say, oh, the man and his wife are on Jamaica. Up here, lie them and tell poor people in you know, my general. Peer lie these people are telling the poor people. Angela Brownberg ask her a question. Tear up on her screen, Angela Brownberg ask her, say, what happened about the illicit six? And it seemed like Angela Brownberg fling a stone and a pig get licked and the pig ball out. She she rush the woman and I tell the woman about say, point of order and withdraw it, withdraw what? Jamaica and the world know that six members are under investigation for illicit enrichment. Six members under investigation for illicit enrichment. So if Angela Brownberg asks, what about the illicit six? Why you so upset about it? Are you one of them? My viewers and subscribers, like the video, watch the video to the end. Watch what go on. I needed a little clarity myself, to just be clear. So let's say, for example, the, a special report is tabled on the matter that the country is waiting to hear, the illicit six. Um, that would come to the House and go order straight or, to no. the... On a point of order, I do not know of what you are speaking, member. It's a... Mm -hmm. I don't know, no. Please, please, please remove that comment. Please remove that comment. That comment is inappropriate, doesn't belong in the House, and is not included in any document submitted in this Honourable House. Please remove I, I, your comment. I've, I've heard what you have said, Madam Speaker. And hands on, please that. strike the comment. So let's say, let's say a, special, a special report comes to the House, Madam Speaker. It, it comes to the Speaker, as you have said, it would go directly to the Integrity Oversight um, Committee. The question that I'm asking is when we had the issue about when we had the issue with the speaker, former speaker of the house, the issue about conflict of interest arose. And there was a concern about individuals being on a committee who are subject of the report of the committee. I'm trying to figure out how one would be able to identify whether or not there would be any conflict of interest on, uh, of, of the members who are part of the oversight committee and how that would be dealt with. I'm also wondering... No, I, I don't think I will be able, if I have so many questions at the same time, remember them all to respond. I'm hoping so I'm going to ask you to hold, I'm going to commence responding, okay. and then I'll ask you to continue. Thank you. Um, I'm going to answer your question first. I don't know that you have read or listened to the ruling 
reports submitted in the way you have asked are reports under Section 54. And Section 54 has those reports being tabled first in the Parliament at the soonest possible time and then subsequently sent to committee. The rulings, as you have heard them today, is based on, let me repeat, the Act, Integrity Commission Act, the FAA Act, the Public Bodies Management and Accountability Act, the Standing Orders, and a comprehensive review of all, including the opinions submitted from the Attorney General's Chamber, the Parliamentary Legal Council. My predecessor made certain pronouncements on the tabling of reports from the Integrity Commission and the Auditor General's Department for Public Bodies, which, as Speaker, I have reviewed and must address. It is expected as legislators, we should have a sound understanding of the law as it is us who craft, debate, and pass the laws which govern us. It is also my understanding that when the court is interpreting the law, the very court may review the records of Hansard to see what the intention of the parliament was at the time of enactment and amendment. Honorable, honorable members, I did a comprehensive review of the correspondence, had extensive discussions with the clerk of the houses, consulted with the chief parliamentary council and speakers from other Commonwealth jurisdictions. It must be made clear that the advice received is not instruction. It is meant to guide the decisions of the House and meant to inform the actions of the Speaker. Therefore, the opinion or advice doesn't absolve the Speaker or the House from a duty to clearly understand the legislation and the standing orders in a manner that is consistent with its own legislative jurisdiction and wisdom. The opinion of the Parliamentary Legal Council, which considered all correspondence between the Parliament and the Attorney General and the Auditor General is available for your perusal. My viewers and subscribers, I want you to tell me if this does so like the days of our life and the young and the reckless. Tell me if this does so like some big little television movie scene where they make up because this couldn't be real. We have a dictator around the country where everybody tired of him and him sick, everybody's stomach. And out of the blows, she pick up big position, go up and see, go up and house speaker, and she not qualified for be house speaker. She a reader when she a read the people, them sound like, say she sound like a three grade student. When Angela Brownberg asked about the six, everybody know about the six. You get so upset. Why you get so upset? Are you one of them? We just want you to tell her the truth. You know. Are you one of them? That's all we ask. We don't want you nothing else from you. Know. Tell her nothing else, Miss Three Grade Reader. Miss Three Grade Reader, we don't want you nothing else from you. We want you to tell her the truth. Are you one of the six? Is your husband one of the six? You see the paper, you know the information. You see the paper, you know what I'm going to tell her. But I ask you a question. You will get so much money. Or you reach like one pitney. You read to all you read to like one pitney. My viewers and subscribers, the man around the country like a dictator, she around the parliament like a dictator. It's such a jump down for Angela and I tell the woman the things about pointer harder, pointer harder. 
I she won't be able to answer all the questions. When you come like when you forget that poor people are not work for. When you come like when you forget that the people at Jamaica are not work for and it's not on a private business or a private enterprise. All me have to tell you is a time coming up. You and your husband are going back in said time. Jamaica is going to send you up on a long vacation. People are tired of one man. You don't know for three poor people. When you come and beg the people to vote for you and when they vote for you, you know, treat them like crap. Time come. Time come, like and share the video, my viewers and subscribers, vote them out.